Is it true that Cater is a playboy? Is he attracted to both genders? In the Playful Land event, he actually flirted with Trey. I believe the only thing that has been officially confirmed on EN, as of this video, is that Ace had a girlfriend at one point. That is all. Cater does flirt with Trey during Playful Land, and it was not the first time. Note, Cater's literal compliment of Trey is very difficult to translate into English. It is not actually the word, handsome. He is complimenting Trey for having a nice face and a cool smile, but trying to write it out literally becomes very odd in English, so I have used the word, handsome, just to get the general feeling across. He is complimenting Trey for being attractive. Cater talks about dancing with Trey at Colin's house, and Trey is apparently such a common subject of Cater's Magicam account that he is teased for it by others. Cater also compliments Trey during Firelit Sky. Trey stands, awkwardly, in the background, at first, apparently watching and listening as Malleus complimented Cater. And Cater's flirting doesn't end with Trey. Epel's labware vignette involves Cater trying to get Epel to start a Magicam account. Cater invites him to Mastro Lounge, offers to go with Epel to see Cruel, and even follows him to the library when Epel turns down his invitation for at least the third time. There is also the phone shopping date that he invites the gender unspecified prefect out on in book 1, and him telling Vil that he thinks he might want to date him. Cater also references girls possibly more than any other character, talking to Trey about how beautiful he imagines Appel's sister would be, if he had one, and then joking about being attracted to Appel's mother, instead. He also asks Ace to teach him a party trick, that'll impress the ladies, says he is in his element when it is time to, woo a cutie, in reference to Eliza, comments on the beauty of talking portrait Rosaria, and more. And, like many of the characters, it might be best not to take what Cater says at face value. If your definition of, playboy, is, someone who dates a lot of different people, then, playboy, does not apply to Cater, as far as we know. What we do know, is this. His family moved around a lot when he was a child so, at some point, he started intentionally keeping his interpersonal relationships shallow rather than try to forge meaningful connections, that's why I always tried to be on good terms with everyone, rather than forge strong bonds with a chosen few. Like a circus performer who has a grand old time with people from around the world, and then packs up and moves on. While never stated outright, it is a common theory that this is why Cater keeps Trey at arm's length during Wish Upon a Star. Trey is already his closest friend, so Cater might be keeping up a buffer zone of secrets like what his true wish for the star sending is so that they do not become any closer, and their inevitable parting will be less painful. Lilia tries to encourage Cater, saying that, in deciding not to get too close to any one person he may be the wisest one there, but Cater is not convinced that Lilia can truly empathize. Lilia's developed cherished relationships while living in the same place his whole life. There's no way he could ever understand how helpless I feel. Another thing we know about Cater is that he might be feeling the loss of one, specific friend in particular. He tells Silver that he remembers making a friend at a new school one time, only to immediately learn that he would be moving away again the next month. It is interesting that he mentions this one friend in particular. Were they the catalyst? Was that the point when he decided that he would never get close to another person? We do not know. If you are seeing, Playboy Cater, Coming from the JP side of the fandom, it is possibly because his speech patterns are that of a Charai character on JP. I think, flirt, is a decent translation for Charai. It has been localized as, shallow, on EN, and it is the reason why Eliza rejects Cater during the Phantom Bride event. Charai characters talk and look flashy, seem shallow, and tend to flirt with everyone equally rather than picking someone specific to pursue. And a common theme of twist is, appearances can be deceiving. Vil and Lilia seem to suspect Cater of having a morose side that the rest of us never see, hidden by his sunny disposition, but Cater claims otherwise. Much like Epel appears delicate but is actually the opposite and Lilia appears young but is actually old, it is possible that Cater intentionally acts shallow while actually he has a complex inner world. It is possible that he is flighty not because he is trying to attract people, but because he is trying to keep them away.